Hello everyone, my name is Cameron. Welcome back to the Batman Return to Arkham City. Let's play last episode. We were getting some revenge as uh, Catwoman going through to uh, get back at Two-Face for stealing our stuff. Um, today... Mm. After I take a drink of my lovely beverage... Today, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we've beaten the main story at this point. Sorry, one sec. I'm trying to make sure my toe's okay. So, I, I got a story to tell really quick. So, last week, I was cleaning my mom's room. And I kind of stubbed my toe on her bed frame, which is metal. So, it busted my toe open. Like, I literally broke... I literally broke part of my nail off. Um, and by broke it off, I mean... It did the weird thing where it broke... But it didn't break, like it partially broke off. Um, so instead of it being like fully broken off and there being a part of my nail missing, it was just broken up and still on my my toe. So what I then had to do, um, you know, it, it peeled the other day, like part of it peeled off and I finished peeling it off yet last night because I was like, okay, this thing just started peeling off. I was like, so I should probably um, you know, take care of the rest of it. So I peeled the rest of it off, and now it's really freaking kind of sore, and it's, it feels weird to the touch. It happens, you know. Things like this happen when you're mean, stupid. Um, I can't remember how to fucking get this one. There's a specific way you're supposed to get this, uh, Riddler trophy right here, and I don't remember how to fucking do it. Because <laughs> for those of you who are saying, oh, just use your, your, uh, uh, for those of you saying like use the uh, tightrope walking thing you can't do it like that I've tried I can't remember what you're supposed to do to get this one so we're gonna move on I think that's mostly what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing some Riddler hunt some riddle hunting trying to get most of them done um if we look at our side quest really quick our side missions that we have we have watcher in the wings we're at 60% we have the Riddler uh, Enigma conundrum we're at 60% acts of violence we're at 52 Stolen freeze tech, we haven't done... I, I didn't realize there was still shit to do. Identity theft, we're at 35%. So we have one, two, three, four, five quests still to go. I didn't realize that was one we had to do right there. Um, If we go inside of here really quick. Inside missions. Um, interesting. Interesting, okay. Okay, so there's the mission thing for it, right? Yeah, Mr. Free Stolen Equipment. I didn't realize there's actually stolen equipment to go get. Um, I never remember doing this one for some reason. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try to do some side quests. We're gonna try to get the Riddler shit done. Uh, and then after that... Because I think I want to finish the full story before we do Harley Quinn's Revenge. And I, by full story, I mean get all the side missions and, and so on and so forth finished. Um... And then, and then do the rest. How the fuck do I get this one again? Oh, I remember how to get this one. This one's a pain in the ass. Most because if you stop, if you fuck up your side, you're you're kind of screwed. Damn it! And that's what I mean by if you fuck up your slide. I can't believe Catwoman broke into Strange's vault. How did she even know where it was? Cause she's a fucking genius. Damn it! I keep fucking missing it. All right, we gotta wait. Oh my god, I just barely missed it. Okay. I also really quickly want to talk to you guys about um, NHL 18. Because for those of you who, who don't realize, who maybe not watch that series, um, that series just recently ended Season 2. Now, what I mean by Season 2 is I've played two full seasons of it. Um, of NHL 18. Uh, actually, wait. Is I'm gonna take a bit of a hiatus, kind of like what I'm doing with this. I'm gonna take a small hiatus um, before I get back into it. Uh, hiatus off of NHL 18. I also just really hurt my wrist when I got my controller. Like the way I, I caught it hit my wrist. Um, it really fucking feels weird now. Uh, but basically, my plan is this. I'm going to 
take a small break with NHL 18 um, for a few weeks, maybe a few months. I'm not sure yet. Um, into a point where I personally just want to take a break, play some stuff that's not career mode. Well, I might play my other career mode, but I don't want to play the career mode I'm playing, basically, uh, for the channel. I want to take a break from that for a bit. And then we're going to go into a, a third season, potentially even a fourth season. Um, mostly because of the way it ended. You'll understand what I mean when you actually see the episode. Um, you'll you'll kind of understand what I mean a bit better. Um, but after that, basically, we'll, we'll do uh, one, maybe two more seasons. Um, and then we'll be done with it for good. Um, I might even not do a third season. I might say okay look it, I've done this for two seasons neither of them really kind of went the way I wanted them to and all that kind of stuff but you know it's it's the way of life um you work for him and you just said that you deserve to get punched in the face you just dissed on your own boss I'm I'm saying you just dissed on your boss I did the same fucking shit um but yeah so hopefully uh if I do decide to do it, hopefully I actually get more enjoyment out of it. That's another big thing is I'm kind of just starting to lose my enjoyment factor of Angel. That's why I want to take a hiatus if I do decide to bring um, it back for any friends. Is because it's just a game where you start to kind of lose your fun after a while. Because it's, it's kind of a repetitive thing. And that's another reason I'm thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't bring it back. Because... It's just one of those things where it's like every single episode is the same. So it's like, okay, do I really want to be doing this right now? Uh, let me actually look at the Watcher in the Woods quest really quick so I can see where. So we just need to get the, the Amusement Mile one. My cat is like right next to me. For those of you wondering, why do I just decide to let my cat stay by me? Because I love my cat. My animals are adorable and amazing and I love them. I don't care if she wants to meow throughout the entire video. I'm going to have my cat by me, so. You know, I could come kick your ass. I should come kick your ass, but I'm I'm really lazy. Oh, yeah, this is the cool thing. If you already... I don't know if we actually got the CCTV, but I'm pretty sure I have all of the ones in the Bowery done already. Um. Yeah. Do we have all... The, oh, okay, so it doesn't just automatically... That'd be kind of cool if... I, once you automatically had it done, it'd be kind of cool. So we have four. In Parker, we just have to get the last four Catwoman trophies and we're done. Amusement Mile, we have one, two, three, four, five regular trophies. And then the Tiger security camera thing. And then four Catwoman trophies. In the Industrial District, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The Tiger, and then all five Catwoman trophies. In the Subway, we have five trophies, one Riddle, and five Catwoman trophies. In the Bowery, we have one, two... 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 trophies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 riddles, and then the 5 Catwoman trophies. In the Steel Mill, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 riddle, uh, trophies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 riddles. The last two uh, Harley Quinn statue things, which I'm pretty sure we're at 8 right now, so we have 4 more to go. And the Catwoman trophies, we have two Catwoman trophies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 trophies, 4 riddles, and then the rest of the penguins in the museum. We have two trophies and two riddles, and then I think one or two more demon head statues in Wonder City. And the physical challenges, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 with Batman, 4 with Catwoman. We need to unlock... One more thing for that one. And one more thing for that one. This one's a really the the thing I'm glad about is we don't need to actually do these to get the cat or to get the uh things unlocked. Because if we did, I'd be fucked because this is hard as hell to get. I'm not kidding. The timing being perfect on every single jump is insanely difficult. Why you guys gotta see me? 
And yes, we will listen to all the interview tapes and we will go through all the stories um, before I end this series. That will actually, that might actually be next episode to be honest. Let's go to Amusement Mile. We're gonna go try to get the Watcher and the Wings finished today. Which he should be somewhere around here now. He should be popping up right now, so we'll be fine. Um, he should, I, I, being the keyword, should being the keyword because I've had it to be where I've gotten to the point where he should pop up again. Um, because again, I've beaten this game like five times um, over the course of the first, the first um, time it ever came out. And I, I got this when it first came out, for those of you who don't know. I got the actual game when it first came out. Um, and then I beat that a few times. Then I got Arkham Asylum. Uh, I beat that once or twice, and then I got Arkham Origins when it came out, and then I pre-ordered Arkham Knight, like, a full, like, six months before it came out or something like that. I pre-ordered pre that fucking game, like, way ahead of when it came out, because, honestly, I just wanted to play the game as much as possible. Um... There we go. Good boy. Um, so yeah, I, I... Okay, that's just a political prisoner needing help. Woman, where the fuck's he at? Over there. There we go. Um, but yeah. And so over the time of for my first time playing Arkham City, way back when it came out initially, to to now, I've beaten it probably a total of five times, and I think this will be my sixth um, time beating it. Uh, or, sorry, I think this is my sixth time beating it now, with the main story being done. The moment is close. The truth will soon be shown. Ah. And for those of you who don't know, um, I will be taking a break between this and Arkham Knight. Mostly just because if I don't, I'm going to be playing way too much. Uh, it's going to be, that's a, that's a lot of Batman on my channel. Sigil that looks like it fits over the map of Arkham City. It does indeed. No, I need it bigger. I I, I already knew where it was going anyway. Have marked a point on the map of Arkham City. I I knew where it was going already. But, and that's because I beat, again, I've beaten this game five times. And when I say I've beaten it five times, I mean, I've gotten every Riddler trophy. I've gotten every riddle. I've gotten everything of everything for this game in the past. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work if I'm being completely honest. I've beaten Watcher in the Wings. I've beaten every side mission, every fucking Riddler trophy's been collected, every riddle's been done. I think I've done all the physical challenges. That might be the one thing I'm not too sure about. I knew you would find me. It wasn't hard. You left me a map. Who are you and what do you want? Why are you watching? We have been given many names, but you will come to know me as Azria, loyal servant to the Order of Saint Dumas. Just what Lita. Another secret society. I bring a message. Dark days are coming, Batman. The prophecy is coming true. You are the warrior who will close the gates of hell. You are the one who will save this day. And in doing so, events will occur that you cannot stop. From the ashes of Arkham, the fires will rage and Gotham will burn. And you... You will burn too. 
I don't believe in fairy tales. Believe what you will. The message has been delivered. We will meet again. He's right. They will meet again. So that's what that feels like. For those of you wondering, by the way, about that, um, if you've played Arkham Knight, you know that what he's saying does in fact come true. Gotham does in fact burn. Um, and Batman does in fact burn with him. Oh, that's right. We only need the cat. We need to get the Catwoman trophy with that one. I forgot the. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very poignant thing. Again, they make a huge, huge amount of references in this game that going back through it again after Arkham Knight, I've realized, okay, they're fucking geniuses. Like legit, they are geniuses. Um, like even if, if you set it to a certain day, and I can't do this because obviously the, the PS4 has to be like the PS4 is always online. But if you set it to a certain day on your, like, let's say you have this for the 360 still. Um, if you set your date to a certain time, if you turn your console offline and you set your date to a certain time, it's, it's a certain month, a certain day in a certain year. Um, if you do that, you can go through and you can go talk to Calendaran, who we're about to go talk to now so we can get the November thing. I don't remember if we missed Halloween. We might have missed Halloween's. Um, I hope I didn't miss Halloween's. But you can set it when you set it to a certain date and you come talk to him, he'll say, I was there at your beginning, I'll be there at your end. Who will give thanks this Thanksgiving? Okay. I take it by your silence that you don't we, will you help me give thanks this year? Okay. So we've definitely hit much to be thankful for. November, October, and September, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if we hit August. I don't think we hit August. No, it's not. It's man bat. Uh, let me look at the physical challenges really quick. Though we have perform five consecutive line launches without touching the ground, uh, aerial attack off stun enemy into another. Use the slide trap to trip an enemy. Use the slide. Oh, counter an enemy projectile. Uh, take out two enemies with one at once with the glide boost attack. Uh, use the quick fire freeze blast during a combo. Use the remote electric charge force enemy to hit another enemy. Uh, use the remote electric charge to blast one arm thug and any other thug. Uh, use the freeze blast to freeze enemy, then battering to knock him down. Form a grapple boost takedown. Use the reverse battering to knock down an enemy. While riding on the line, launch charge that unaware enemy. Use the takedown attack to draft on and knock them out. Take down enemy using the sonic shock battering. Use the remote electric charge to temporarily disable a backpack jammer device. And use the freeze blast to freeze an armed enemy before taking him out. And we also have for the Catwoman ones. Form pounce attack three required. I need to do that one more time. Complete one claw climb using at least eight separate leaps without missing the, the timing for a single jump. Form a special combo whip lash and special combo whip trip in one combo flow and use cow chops to stun an enemy. Um, we can actually quickly, I'm pretty sure, if I do this right, we should be able to trip all three of them right now. If we can fucking not keep getting hit. Oh my god. Why am I not fucking? You're gonna die tonight, ben. Okay, seriously, why is it not letting me run? This is gonna hurt, freak. Okay, now it's letting me do it. There we go. I was say that's kind of an easy one to do, and I I can get it very easy. Uh. uh fuck. Where's the? Uh, okay. God damn it. That hurt. That really hurt. Sirs. And the judgment is death. death. <sighs> Fuck that sucked. Um damn. 
All right. That should that okay. I was say, that physical challenge is. Uh, that's I forgot. It doesn't save it if you fucking die. God damn it. There we go, trip three at once, that's how you do it. FYI, finding big rooms like this where there's a lot of enemies, probably the easiest way to, uh, um, get physical challenges finished. Depending on the challenge, obviously. Going off about shut up. We are gonna hurt you. Arkham City's where you're gonna die. This is gonna hurt you guys. I'm gonna die, Spad. Not until the next game. Thank God, that was not that was not an easy one to do. I gotta look at that Sonic Shock battering one again. Take down enemies in the Sonic. Does that mean take him down, like knock him out with the Sonic Shock? Cause that's not gonna be easy game, like at all. It's going to be quite quite difficult. Unless you just mean like, I get, I it's gotta mean that. I mean I I would wish just quickly knock someone down with it, but no, it, I think it means. Knock them down with the Sonic Shock battering, which is going to be kind of difficult because the Sonic Shock battering sucks and it's very difficult to actually get a fucking position to use it at. <laughs> Bitch. Dumbass. How many si how many more of those guys do we gotta do? We're at sixty four percent. Motherfucker, that's gonna take a while. And we got about five minutes left. I think I'm actually gonna end this one early. Um mostly because there's not much more for me to do right now in this episode. And I'm also not feeling the greatest. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay golden. Peace.